Gary here, and welcome to episode number 19 of my Let's Play of Vagrant Story on the PlayStation. And in the last episode, we had a bit of a Barney down here with um, Rosencrantz. And he basically corroborated what we had heard from um, Sydney in... I believe it was the previous episode, actually. Um, that actually has a bit of a dark past. Um, and, yeah, he... He's done some things that he's clearly so not proud of, he's actually kind of repressed them. Um, yeah, so he's been, he, like, basically he's now got to go and follow these people to try and find out more about his own past as well as his actual job. What we're going to try and do though is make our way through this area here. Um, which is, I believe, another section of the town centre. We'll try and take these guys down before they get themselves too carried away. I'm going to degenerate him quickly if I can. Um, can I reach? No. Okay, let's just do that though. Come here. Ah! <laughs> okay, the other one dropped in from on high. Let's try and take this blade out though. I'm going to weaken him. That'll teach you to try and buff yourself up. <laughs> and, yeah, good thing I did because he's, he's still quite tough. Even with my new Shamshir. So, which seems to be more effective against um, Rosencrantz than it is now, although I think I did buff it up a bit. It's been a couple of days since I actually did that fight, so I can't remember the full details of how I did it, but... Sounds about right. Oh, that was timed well. Good. I was just stopping at eight because it makes sense to. But, um, yeah, let's get this guy's legs. This one isn't as tough, clearly. There we go. Nearly there. Then we can regroup and see where we're at. Just kind of got thrown straight into basically being ambushed there, so... Well, I'll take that. Yeah. Ooh, what have I learned? Well, chip... Ooh, sword breaker. Vile scar. Hmm. Can we see anything about... That's the wrong one. Oh, come on, brain. Break out. Um, Sonic wave to shred the photo pieces, or... A poisonous cloud to choke the enemy. Hmm. Not bad. Somehow a poisonous cloud is edged. I'll, I'll allow it. I suppose. Um, yeah, give us a chance though quickly to look at the map. So I believe this is a new area. Yes, town centre south rather than anywhere else. But we kind of, we've done our sort of loop around and we've entered another part of the town. Um, got the same sort of look as the town centre west, which I believe is where we were before. Um, can, we, can we do that from here? I'm just double checking. I think you can... Yeah, so you can see all the areas we've been. Um, in town centre west is the one with um, the magic hammer con um, workshop there, and then you head across. And yeah, this is where we went down and into the undercity basically to come back out this way. So I'm going to just have a bit of explore around here because I don't remember it particularly well. I assume it's just going to be a bunch of guys around here. And actually, this is a way out. I think this will just get us that little blue entrance there and there's a save point here as well nice um i believe that's the latched door into the city walls where we couldn't get through yeah i'm just gonna open it and then probably go in and out because i think there's going to be also lizard men yes actually can i take these on quite nicely uh sorry i will i might get some gear um yeah, I like to go through, make sure you've got all the doors unlocked in case I need to kind of cut through somewhere for some reason. And that, that door's obviously locked to kind of force you through to um, the keep. And then towards uh, that fight with um, Rosenkrantz before. Which is fair enough, you know, you've got to observe narrative. It doesn't seem to make much other sense for that door to be unlatchable. Or even be there, to be honest. Um, so it gives you a bit of a cut through, but... Yeah. We'll see. Stop there. I might have to start again because I don't think he's dead yet. Nope, just made it with that 12. Cool. Having a good set of luck with that today. Um, and a light grieve. Hmm. Very good. These are actually quite tough, these ones. Um, of course, the more I keep attacking these lizard men, the better my weapon will get against dragons. So, Basically creating their own downfall. Yeah, now we can cut back through there, and we will have a look at 
this. So that's a dead end. Just, it, that is literally just a, <laughs> like a drop off into blackness. Um, that doesn't go anywhere. So yeah. I'm guessing it's just like a little save point. I, mean, I think I recognise the name if I go in here. No, I don't actually. Valdemian Gates. Um, Valdemian Gates, should I say. Um, but we're going to re spawn these, aren't we? Yeah, and he's going to cast Heracles again, isn't he? Of course he is. Why wouldn't he? Right, so. There's going to be one drop from one. Yeah, so that needs dealing with. So as to generate him. I'm actually prestiging myself here as well, just to make this a little bit quicker. Because it still took a little while to actually get all of the um, chains in. Don't want to be seen to be wasting magic, but it's there to be used, obviously, as well. Um, so, yeah, still only 4 6 I could use Tarnish as well, but that seems like it's overkill for just a random look. Hopefully she'll be able to get him within the eight. Come on. There we go. Nice. And this guy up here should be a bit weaker, I think, as we found out last time. Ooh, quad um, shield there. That might actually be better than what I've got. Um, I don't think the circle shield is particularly great. Like, we should be starting to combine them at this point. I may even go back to the workshop and see if that combines to get an even better one. Um, let's have a quick gander. So a circle shield, which um, actually, yeah, this is a probably a better indicator. That's again. Uh, it's hard to tell actually. Thirteen, fifteen. I might not be, but I still might come back. I'm gonna go and have a look. Let's just do that. Um, this could be a monumental waste of time, but well. I don't think it's going to be. So, just seeing as we are right next to this workshop. In we go. And let's see what we can do. I'm hoping the way I've got to do combinations is going to take off Prestasia, because that's obviously messing with the values. Um, combine. Shield. There we go, yeah. So the circle shield's got 14, that one's got 13, and 9. That one's got 14 and 9. But if I combine them... Tower shield! That's what I was thinking. Excellent. Right, so... Cooking on gas now. Let's go back and equip that. And tower shield... Oh yeah, that's a proper shield. It's actually got some sort of coverage. Um, don't care about losing equipment up. Just means I have to fight that guy again, again, aren't I? Oh, Christ. Right, I suppose we'll get the prestige. I should double that up. Um, but I do want prestige back on. Then get ready to cast degenerate on him again. Uh, <laughs> the endless supply of um, crimson blades we have down here, I guess. This is with. I think technically switching between areas. Yeah, there he is again. Of course he is. Come here. Oh, maybe I'll get away. Uh, he still can't do a lot of damage, but... He's obviously got some good armour. Um, but he's not going straight to Heracles. He's obviously learned his lesson about that. I say that. Obviously, it can't be the same one because I keep killing him, but... Hmm. Maybe just slightly different AI logic or whatever. Well, stop there. And try and catch him again before he does something else. There. That's the one. <laughs> there we go, Ash. That's the one. And there's probably the other guy going to drop down from on high there. If I can catch him in midair, that'd be amazing. There we go. He didn't stand a chance. Okay, maybe he does. There we go. Sweet. Ooh, segment. Uh, I keep, I'm going to keep going back to the bloody um, workshop of this, right? Okay, let's have a look. That's probably better than this. Yeah, definitely. Let's get that equipped. Um, I 
That's better than this as well. I should probably spend some time here just grinding by the looks of it. Jeez. Um, obviously changing that round is is losing my... Um, what do you call it? Um, Prestasia effects, because it affects both the weapons and the... Um, come on, break. And the armour, but... Meh. Now we've got two ways out. We're going to go across here, I believe it is. Uh, or the other way. Now, I'm going to go this way first, I think. Um, no, I don't think there's anyone here, is there? don't hear anyone. No. I think we're doing okay. We can't get through here. Yeah. So we're going to have to take a cut through this. I like the fact that they've got like, a slightly different door here as well. They're not all single panel doors or whatever. Oh, crap, there's two of them. Right. Quick. Murder them. It's the good thing is I should be taking less damage now with my little tweaks, little bits and pieces of increased defence here. If he does decide... Oh, crap, can't multitask. Okay, still a decent amount, but... That is a giant two-handed mace, so I'd expect some damage from that. And... Ooh, gauntlet, I'll take that. And this guy's got a giant axe. Excellent. Best kill him as well. Uh-oh. Don't be blocking all of my big attacks. There we are. Come on. Die. That's it. Good. Whew. Oh, you're not going to give me any gear? What sort of person are you? Huh. We've got a new way out down here. But we need... Oh, no. That's a bronze key job. Okay. Um... I kind of don't want to go to the next area without clearing this one, so I am actually going to go back in that other entrance. I'm guessing I'll, I'll just try to be like pragmatic by going round that a sort of town centre area. But um, we'll go back. I don't think these will have respawned. Even if they have, I might just miss them this time because I'm frankly killing them four times in the same episode seems literally and figuratively to be overkill. Um, so. Who's down here? More Crimson Blades. Casting Heracles. He's casting it on his mate there though, I think, is he? Yeah. We'll deal with that. I don't see how a strength boost helps you with a crossbow. It does though. It means you can fire the bolt more effectively, I guess. I don't know, I suppose it makes you steadier. So you can be more accurate. Do sort of critical damage. I don't know, it's not damage, I can't. Oh, good. That, that was convenient. I can't multitask particularly well, it seems, when it comes to um, pointing out the logical flaws and um, actually fighting. But, yeah. We've only got one brain. It doesn't work particularly well multitasking. But, yeah. Power shield definitely making a difference there. Got pretty good armour for a... Um, is it still an archer for the crossbow? I suppose it's crossbowman, but um, like you should be a ranged fighter. You wouldn't expect him to have a lot of like heavy armor. But, yeah. Huh. We started to run out of space. Well, I'm gonna definitely. I just picked up two of those, and they were both iron. So I'm gonna drop the non-iron one, or one of them, and replace it with a gain one. In fact, I can also probably immediately drop the other one, because I know that's going to be better, because it's the same item, but in a better material. So, let's have a look at that. Actually, we should maybe be able to start getting rid of some of this other stuff. Like, that should be better there, because that's iron. Generally, unless you're miles different in the sort of tier of weaponry, a better material trumps pretty much everything. Like, you see that like fuss camp there, that is... Better than the light grieve, but at 11 to 9, that's 13 to 10. You get like a 2 or 3 point bonus on it. Um, I'd best get back to the workshop and put some of this stuff away, I guess. Huh, this guy's quite tough. Um, I might generate him just for the crack. Um, since he seems to be keen to use magic, he's probably going to counter this. Should have used tarnish, really. 
That'll do. Take his arm out. Die already. I, uh, actually, no, maybe still, because that was the weak one. I was going to say, I might be struggling with the aid here. I think I'm just going to, yeah. I feel I just keep going, though, because there's no one else. Like, he's the last one in the area. Ooh, a reasonable weapon. I will just take that apart and put that in my bag. And, oh, well, that was a waste of time, actually. I need a sigil for that. Right, um, what I think I'm going to do then is I'm going to go back to, actually I'll do that on screen, I'm going to go to the workshop and let's have a quick look at gear again. I'm not going to walk through and kill everything on screen again I think I'll, once basically I'm going to, uh, I don't know, we'll see. How are we doing for time? Not too bad actually. Basically I want to get through this area today. But let's have a look at what we've picked up. I'll, see, I can put some stuff away. I can probably combine some stuff as well. Um, I should probably have a look at my container. That's the problem with the container being so separate is you kind of forget about it. You just put stuff away and then you say, oh yeah, I've got this like great big pile of armour in here. Um, if I was to say, right, um, I've got this gauntlet. And I've got this chain sleeve. That's makes another gauntlet. Um but this gauntlet at least makes a a again uh, gauntlet which is probably better than what I've got I should have actually looked in there I could do it from there couldn't I yeah let's get that and get that yep that'll do that's improvement Um, what else have we got a segment tartar before, that's probably quite a nice bit of weapon, air um, armour, sorry. So a segment tartar, will that combine with anything to make it better? Chainmail? That'll work. I'm just gonna, just curiosity, I'm just gonna try the other one as well. Breastplate. That is also the same. Um, before I do that, I might actually try just combining these two. I've got a funny feeling that if I do this, I'm not going to be. If, if I combine two segment harder, it's not going to work. Um, so I'm actually going to do what I said I was going to do. Which one of those two was the best? I'll leave the better one. So that's 13, 13. That's 15, 13. Right, I'll use the chainmail then. And my segment harder. To create a new scale armor. And. Put that in a second. Let's have a look and see what else I've got. So, foot wise, what have I got on my feet? A foos camp, of course. Um, now, if I combine that with a chain legging, I get a pull lane, which is, I think, oh no, it is better. I thought that was going to be worse. It sounded a bit boring, but. Um, just out of curiosity. That's about the same. It's using a. Let's have a look. Instead of using the foos camp, if I use. That fuss camp. I can get a again pull in. So let's do that. Then if I combine the plane with the fuss camp at the bottom. Fuss camp, perhaps. We get a jambo. Excellent oh, that's yeah. Make an excellent use of all this gear we're picking up around this area. Um I need to remember to equip it when I'm done, but um, hey ho. Right, head wise, I haven't got any more gear. I've got. I doubt this is going to work, I'm just curious now, because if, if I can just keep combining stuff, that'll be great. Ah, no, it does work. I'm legitimately surprised, but yeah, let's throw some more gear in there, and from 15 and 12, we get 16 and 13, and the Missaglia? Missaglia? I know, it sounds Italian. Um, that's a pretty good improvement from where we were. Um, so, I've got a, ga a couple of gauntlets. Because that's going to work. T 
10. That's an improvement, something I'll put it in. I think I've basically combined everything I've got pretty much here now. So we've got two gauntlets now, I've got that. Just curiosity. While we're on. Yep. <laughs> Christ, this is... I'm not sure whether this is coincidence or if it's just worked out quite nicely, but... That's worked out quite nicely. I, had, I didn't actually look at where I was before. Um, and after, but basically the entire of my gear is now just combined into one nice set of again armour. Um, that should see me for a good while, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy. I don't even have to really put um, anything away, I guess. Um, one thing I might look at though, so yeah, because we haven't been on with that, is just have a quick check of weaponry while I'm on. So if we're anywhere near as jammy with that as we have been with this. So that if, for example, I was to take my Ferangi and merge that with a uh, Shamshir, I'll allow that. I'll definitely allow that. Let's do that. Um, any other combinations I can put together? Mm, I've got quite a dis. I've got a target bow and a straff bow. Let's try those. I've got a feeling they're too far away. Cause target bow is actually quite good. Yeah, is it better? Seventeen and two. It's marginally better. And more importantly, it's. Ah, oh, no, it's not. Actually, it's not better. Because it's a worse, like that's again, and they're not. So it's actually a downgrade for the target bow. Although it is. Eh, eh. Yeah, well, it's, it's still technically better. It's a lower model or style, but it's a better weapon. Um. Um, I haven't. Um, let's try these two while I'm on. How's that going to come out? 22, 10, 60. Yeah, it's no good. Francisco, I think, is one of the base ones. Um, let's put stuff back together then quickly as well. Um, we'll assemble some weapons. So I've got. First of all, I definitely want that falchion putting back together. I think we spent a little bit of time putting it together in the last episode, actually, and then I've just put it. Um, took it apart again. Get the knuckle guard back on, and the gems, I believe I went for the brave heart. And I went for the, um, it was the one for people, I think. Um, Brett Helialis? I think that's what I got. Let's do that. And we'll just call it falchion, because I'm still boring. Um, so get that, and well, I don't think I've got much choice here, have I? Oh no, I've got a couple. Javelin bolt's probably the way forward. And let's go for undead, so we can start firing at the undead. Light crossbow's fine, it'll, it'll have to be. And finally, got the shamak here, which I think we picked up earlier. And it's going to have to be a Sarissa grip. I haven't got much choice in the matter there. Um, let's try that. Why not? Get out of the inventory at least. Oh, I actually want to equip something, otherwise Ashley's actually going to be punching things. Um, which has its benefits, but... Have a look at that sword now. Ooh, nice. That actually looks a bit more mundane than the previous one, but seems effective. Right. Um, I tell you, actually, I'm going to wrap this up here because we've kind of got to a point where we've had a nice. Um, what's I'm looking for? Basically, that's been a remarkably productive day, given we've not done a lot, if that makes sense. Like, just between the bits and pieces that we picked up, we've actually managed to massively improve, I think, Ashley's, particularly his armour there. 
Um, and what I'm going to do is I will just charge back through that area and we'll head into... I never should check which area it was, but um, the new area that we've got available to us now. Going out of the northeast, or at least as it was when we were looking at it, the top, top right of um, the town centre south. So, until then, um, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself, and have a good day. Goodbye.